Example, you agree with me. Oh, yeah, agree. That, 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 no, about Aisha's age. We don't believe she was nine. No. Bukhari and Muslims say she was nine. So what we're doing is we're rejecting it and we have reasons to reject it. But most of the Muslims say, how dare you? 90% of the Muslims, apart from Shia, 90% of the Sunnis, they say, you are rejecting this, you are, probably they say we are kafir. No, no, yeah. I have a video about it. I explain yeah, yeah. Okay. according to the Quran and according to uh, Hadith. Even there are some Hadith even for uh, the same narrator, Bukhari, and it contradicts uh, that uh, she, besides, if you think about it, uh, uh, six years, six years is uh, a minor. But, but actually, um, I'll, I'll no age, nine years, no time a anywhere in the, his past history. Nine-year-old nine is always nine-year-old. Mm, he can but, now say nine-year-old was grown up at that time. It's ridiculous. But, but actually, I was going to ask you, because I was speaking with this uh, Muslim who's at Gordon High Street, and he does the Dawah out there, and he said something to me which I hadn't heard of before, but he, one of you might know what he was talking about. Because what I did is, you know um, how Mufti Abu Lais was applying the pressure yeah. with that hadith about the woman who rejected um, the your prophet the proposal so oh, yeah. so i mentioned yeah, yeah. terrible hadith that is oh, yeah, terrible so, so, so i mentioned She's that calling him names that like like nausbillah he's some sort of a low life nausbillah yeah. that's in bukhari and muslim mm. how could you know there's well, a went to somebody's house it's, it's tell three, us what the hadith it's, says it's three times in bukhari or four and once in Muslim. He went to a Muslim woman and she said, I... Uh, uh, she said, seek refuge. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he, he said, I want to marry you. And she said, I don't want to marry a person like you. She said to Muhammad Sassan, I seek refuge of Allah from you. <laughs> and Muhammad Sassan get out of the house, he said, leave her alone. Mm. I mean, come on, this is in Bukhari or Muslim. I mean, seriously. And yeah. she was a Muslim, obviously. Yeah, yeah, because she could propose. Yeah. She said, I was building a shaitan regime and what Hadith said, the Muhammad Sassan get out of there and mm. go away. Yeah. Astaghfirullah. But, but he... Uh, this is against but, Quran. This is, this is against Quran. No, but the Quran thing is, says Rahmatul Alameen. I mean, mercy to the world. And she's re seeking refuge from him. And he's agreeing with her. He's probably agreeing. And that's why he walked out. Yeah, but what he said to me is, so when I brought it to him, I thought, since, since he's more of like an old time Muslim, I, I wanted to see what he, how you deal with this one. Okay. And what he said, he said to me that there's this, there's a book that he uses to determine whether uh, hadiths in Bukhari and Muslim are genuine or not and he says it's called something called Sinsinatul Sahih you ever heard of that? I know the pronunciation isn't right because the way he said it it's like Sinsinatul Sahih he, he said there's some book by some scholar and that in that book when you read it, it, it actually explains which hadith this is what he's telling me which hadith from Bukhari Forget uh, the Quran uh, regarding. Uh, he say uh, that the orphan, the orphan, you don't. If they reach uh, the age of uh, the waj, like marriage, mm. and they are uh, sound, sound judgment, then you can marry them and you can give them the. That means under age is not allowed to 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 be, to, to be married. Uh, uh, chapter uh, chapter four and chapter uh, sixty five uh, explain everything. Mm. Also, this hadith of Bukhari, there's a hidden defect in the hymn of this hadith of nine year old, six year old. It's mentioned in the, in the hadith about thirteen times, mostly repeated. You know, I think Nasai, Tirmidhi, Bukhari, Muslim, all six years, nine years, six years, nine years. But they're most of repetition. Why? Because about 10 times after 13, it's the same chain. Aisha, Urwa, Isham, Urwa's son. Every single time, I mean every hadith mentioned one person in a chain. You know what it means, one person in a chain, a gharib. Yeah, hadith are akhbar, akhbar e wahid and a gharib. If you have more people in the hadith, it become like uh, Aziz or Mashur and Matawatir. But this one has every single time Aisha, one person, Urwa, her nephew, Urwa son Hisham. After Hisham, there were eight people. Eight people, his students. The point here is this. We can trust Aisha Razi Alana, no doubt. We can trust her. She wouldn't lie. We know that. Can we trust Urwa, his ne her nephew? Very much so that Urwa was a good man. We can trust him as well. What about Hisham? Can we trust Hisham? Who was Urwa's son? Well, who was Hisham? He was a scholar. He lived in Medina for 70 years, 70 years, 70 years he lived in Medina. He had many, many students. Among them, one of the students was Imam Malik. Yeah, who write Murtah Malik. 
Then last 10 or 15 years of his life, he lived in Baghdad, Basra, or, uh, or um, Kufa, one of them, in Iraq. 70 years he teach in Medina. None of his students from Medina quote this hadith. This, this is a very important point. None of his students teach, uh, quote this hadith, and one of the students is Imam Malik, who write the very first book of hadith, Murtab Malik. He never brings the hadith. Why every student who lives in Kuba or Iraq, if they bring the hadith? That's a very important point. Mm. Is it possible that he's in his old age and we learn uh, Hisham ibn Urwa, he had a memory lapse because some of these students say he used to forget things. Is it possible that he forgot? Because you know in Arabic, how you say 19? Tisatulashar? Tisatulashar. And Sitta Yeah, Sitta Talash is 16. Sitta Talash. When you say when you say six, you say Sitta. Sitta. Meaning they some people say he dropped Asha in his memory. It's possible because then you say 22 is a one word, isn't it? 22. Mm -hmm. 22 is a one word in English. 22. If you if you miss out 20, what left? Two. Same yeah. way in Arabic when you say 19, you say one word. Mm. Nine ten. That's how you say nine ten. Yeah. yeah. So it's possible in his memory lab. He forget to say Asha. He drop Asha. That's one of the reason. What's not possible? Uh, a six years old or nine years old, nobody will listen to her at that time. They used to bury even their children when they used to be, uh, be, be you know. Yeah, that, that's the point. This is a, a point stupid is. hadith. Besides, exactly. uh, besides, there is hadith which prove that all the children of Abu Bakr they were born before Al Qasim Nabawi. It's a revelation from God. Let's say that Aisha was five years uh, and, and uh, uh, 610. Uh, if we add uh, another 13 years, 13, 30, 12 years, 13 yeah, yeah, years yeah, yeah, when right. he married her, yeah, right. and, Madi uh, and Medina, uh, five. And, uh, and 13, hey, you have 19. And also, Aisha only have one uh, real brother. Yeah, other was two step brother and sister. You know, Asma was from a uh, marriage. Yeah. Yeah. But Aisha's parents, they got married, listen to this, they got married at least 10 years or 15 years before Muhammad Sassan become prophet. They were married like, uh, I think they might have 595 or 597 when they were married. So how is it possible that Aisha was born 15 years after the marriage? I mean, 15 years after the marriage? Besides, besides Aisha was engaged to Ibn Mutai, yes, then when, right. when uh, uh, Abu, Abu Bakr accepted Islam, the father, he changed his mind. That's and he, right. He, right. Uh, uh, and he uh, says, since we became Muslim, they are keeping distance from us. Meaning, when that proposal thing happened, when, uh, what's his name, the lady, Hola, Hola, when, Hola, when she went to Abu Bakr, in Tabari and Ibn Ithar, they mentioned this. When she went there, it was already 10 years Abu Bakr was Muslim. Yeah. And he says, since we became Muslim, they're keeping distance from us. Meaning engagement took place before he became Muslim. Yeah. So Aisha, at least at 10 least, years at that at time. Least at least 13. Yeah, so exactly. When engagement took place, yeah. maybe 3. So at least 13. Now, where does 6 years and 9 years come from? So the problem here, this hadith has a lot of defects in it. And uh, so, so we don't accept that hadith. We do not accept the prophet of God having a sex with Aisha. It is not possible for a prophet of God to be doing that. But what I'm saying is that mostly Muslims don't reject that. Why? Because Bukhari said that Muslims said that's a problem. Bukhari mm. Muslim. And we can prove that Bukhari and Muslim have contradictions in them. Within them there are contradictions. Yes. So the so point here is, we, it's not the easy way, bro. Going against the majority, as long as you follow the truth, you shouldn't be afraid of it. Many Muslims do not talk to me. They are, they are, you see that, how Mansur behaved with me. Yeah. But he couldn't. When I say, oh yes, one of them, I follow halves. Mm. Anything else, I would not follow. I'm not saying that totally wrong. If maybe one percent different verse, I would say are probably verse 99 percent same as halves. Mm. But I say I follow halves. Why 95 to 97 Muslim world follow halves? But actually, I don't know if you notice. Um, you notice the reply Mansu gave was the same one I gave a couple of weeks ago. Remember when you replied that, and I said to you about how also the prayers of the the, the wash people are invalid. Yeah. He's, 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 what, he's what did I say? What did I say? I say, whoever reading Warsh, as long if they doesn't have a knowledge of Hafs, yeah. their intentions are true, Allah will accept it. Yeah, Allah yeah. will not tell, say why you done that when they have no other choice. Mm. You understand? So that's why I say, if you know there is another option, and you know that's right, or that's mostly Muslim following, then Allah will judge you. In 
Allah will judge you according to that. That's why I say I'm only very evil to me. He probably think I'm like you. He probably think I am out of Islam as well. And who cares? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing the fear on him. Zero Muhammad is Muslim brother. He wants to do the fear, that's why I have to stay. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, I'm not going to follow like blind sheep because majority is following. Allah, Allah says to me, do the fucker. This is Allah encourage me to think, mm. ponder one thing. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to be stubborn that follow what I'm saying. I said, this is my question. Answer me. If you have no answer, you can't just say, oh, are you a scholar? People say, are you a scholar? I mean, that so means only scholar? Islam is only for scholars? Yes. Islam is for everybody, brother. Even for a layman. Mm. Do that. Just,